Diabetes is a common disease that affects hundreds of millions of people worldwide and is caused by the death or dysfunction of the insulin producing beta cell, which is a specialized cell type found in the pancreas. A insufficient number of healthy beta cells is what gives rise to all forms of diabetes, including type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and genetic forms of diabetes. A major challenge the field is facing right now is having the ability to generate a sufficiently large number of functional beta cells that would be available for cell therapy for even a small fraction of patients that could benefit from it. This is a very exciting time to be working in the field of regenerative biology and personalized medicine as multiple technologies are advancing towards clinical translation for many diseases, including diabetes. As shown in our study published in Science Translational Medicine, for the first time, we were able to use gene therapy to correct a diabetes-causing mutation in stem cells that we derive from patients. Using these stem cells, we engineered beta cells in the lab and transplanted them to rapidly reverse severe pre-existing diabetes in mice. This project brought together multiple types of expertise at the Washington University School of Medicine with my team, a biomedical engineering lab specializing in stem cell biology, collaborating with Dr. Fumihiko Urano, a physician scientist. Dr. Urano treats patients at the Washington University Medical Center that have a disease called Wolfram Syndrome, which gives rise to diabetes and is caused by a mutation in a gene important to beta cell health. We were able to take skin samples from several patients, convert them into stem cells, and use an approach called CRISPR to correct this diabetes-causing mutation, which is only a single nucleic acid, which can be represented as one letter out of over 6 billion contained within the genetic code. This type of stem cell can turn into any cell type found in the body, and we were able to use our new strategy to efficiently generate beta cells in the laboratory. Gene-corrected beta cells were able to rapidly reverse diabetes in mice and maintain this cure for six months, the end of the observation period, while diabetic uncorrected beta cells that we made from the same patient were not able to do so. In order for our study to be successful, we had to combine multiple different cutting-edge technologies. One of the biggest challenges we faced was differentiating our patient cells into beta cells. Previous approaches do not allow for this robust differentiation. Therefore, here we use our new optimized differentiation protocol targeting different developmental signaling pathways to generate our cells. The study avoids the ethical concerns of human embryonic stem cells and gene therapy. The stem cells used in the study are derived directly from the patient, so no embryos are involved. The use of CRISPR and gene therapy in the study are only of cells in the laboratory, and so there's no risk of potentially harmful gene edits being introduced into cells in the body, and these gene edits are not inherited. In addition, our study allows for us to study this disease in a dish. We observed major defects in the unedited beta cells derived from patients including very weak insulin secretion and by sequencing the gene products of individual cells, measuring many signs of stress, which we confirm by detecting the secretion of unprocessed and therefore non-functional insulin. Amazingly, this is all fixed in the gene-corrected beta cells, and they were indistinguishable from beta cells that we made from healthy donors. So now we can generate a virtually unlimited number of beta cells from patients with diabetes to test and discover new drugs to hopefully stop or even reverse this disease. Perhaps most importantly, this technology now allows for the potential use of gene therapy in combination with the patient's own cells to treat their own diabetes by transplantation of lab-grown beta cells.